Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we're doing the update on one of my most favorite project fan projects that I'm doing at the moment. And that is my pen that palette series. I'm really enjoying this challenge project series at the moment because I am seeing some really good progress in my eyeshadows and my other palettes in my collection. I've never really tried to pan eyeshadows before in my life. And turns out <laughs> I actually really enjoy it. So um, I'm here to share my progress with you on these palettes this month. I'll let you know how I went, the details, whether I've hit pan on any shades. Spoiler alert, I have hit pan on something. So I will leave that till the end. And yeah, we might start with this one. This is the Kevin Aquan um, face. This is the Facebook sculpting, the art of contouring Facebook or something. I don't know what it's called. I think this is like the second edition of this palette. I don't think it's the first, but I do think it, I think it might be the second. So I didn't use this one a whole lot this month. I have been distracted using other bronzers and highlighters in my collection. So I did not use this one very much this month. I would say I could probably count on one hand how many times I have used this this month because it wasn't it wasn't that much. So I will not be surprised if the weight of this has not changed or has gone down by a very very minimal amount. So last month this palette weighed in at 177.56 grams so i rolled this one in last month and now it weighs in at 177.47 grams so i've used it a little bit not a whole lot but i mean progress is still progress and i am going to count it um, so I've used 0.09 of a gram in a month. I mean, it's not great progress at all, but as I said, I haven't really used this one all that much this month. So considering how little I've used this, I'm still happy to see at least some sign of, of some progress. Next one is my other face palette and it is my Too Faced Love Flush uh, Blush Wardrobe. Blush, whoop, nearly dropped. <laughs> my Too Faced Love Flush Blush Wardrobe. Now I am still focusing on the blushes at either end. I've been mixing them together a lot. I've been using them by themselves a lot. Um, I, yeah, those ones are pretty much the only ones that I've been using um, the last month. I've only touched these ones exclusively. I've haven't even dipped into the other three colors i'm just really trying to focus on hitting pan on both of these two uh, i feel like i am getting really close to hitting pan on this one here your love is king and then i'm definitely starting to see a dip in love hangover but not as much as your love is king i I mean, I don't want to preempt it. I don't want to like jump the gun, but I feel like I'm going to hit pan on this one. Um, your the color your love is king next month. Like I don't want to I don't want to be a premature here, but I definitely feel like we're getting really close to hitting pan on this one. So last month it weighed in at where is it on my spreadsheet? <laughs> last month it weighed in at 127.88 grams. And now, drum roll, it weighs in at 127.16 grams. So I've, I've used a really decent amount of this one this past month. So I have used a total of 7.72 of a gram. So normally my progress is anywhere from like 0.4 of a gram to half a gram, uh, but 0.7 of a gram, that is like smashed it out of the ballpark. So really, really happy with that progress this past month. If it's not next month, it'll definitely 100%, I think without a doubt, be the month after, but I would really like it to be, <laughs> I would really like it to be next month, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I used 0.7 of a gram of that one. Unbelievable, unbelievable.
Next is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Now, I have been thoroughly enjoying this palette this month. I have I've almost exclusively used this palette this month. Every time I have like not wanted to do my makeup, I just grab this one out and I, you know, go for something that I've been doing like a lot and I love the look. Every time I want to do something different or I want to go like a bit more like smoky or sultry, I grab this palette out and I love how it looks. So I have really, really been enjoying this palette this past month. So I'm so glad that I rolled this one in. Um, I think, I think that I will see Pan maybe on at least one shade, hopefully two. I'm not quite sure how deep these pans are just yet because I haven't hit pan on, I think I've, I don't think I've hit pan on a single ABH shadow just yet. So I think once I know how deep the pans are, I'll be able to gauge better like my progress, but I'm getting some decent dips in some colors in this palette. Once again, the color tempura has a really good dip in it. Um, this one I've been using like as kind of like a setting shade. And then the color Love Letter here has a, not a considerable dip, but it's definitely a noticeable dip when I look at it. And then the rest of the pans, there's definitely wear on the pans, but no like significant dips like there are in, in those two shades. So I think if I am going to hit pan on something, it'll probably be one of those two shades. But like I said, I've been thoroughly enjoying this palette this past month. I've been doing a lot of looks like I've been using um, like this cord here, uh, the one at the end here as just like a, a brown kind of bronze eye and I pair it with my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper. And then I've also been going with um, like the colors Raw Sienna in the crease and then um, Red Ochre like on the outer corner and I deepen it up a little bit with Cypress Umber. Um, otherwise I swap out the Red Ochre with the color Love Letter um, and I pair all those looks I've paired with my caviar stick in the color copper. The color copper with the color love letter looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I didn't think it would work, but then I wore it to work one day and I was like, this is probably one of my favorite looks that I've done so far using this palette. So um, I, that's definitely been one of my go-to looks. I've been opting for like the, the brown uh, bronzy eye with this quad down here um, or I've gone for the color love letter and had kind of like a pinky coppery eye for like my work makeup. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And then every time I've either like filmed or I've wanted to um, make the look a bit more smoky, a bit more like sultry, I've like gone in with Cypress Umber on the outer corner to, to deepen it up and kind of give it a bit of more of a smoky vibe to it. So I've really, really enjoying this palette. Um, I'm not surprised at all because uh, when ever since I've had this palette, I have enjoyed it, but it's never really been one of my like go-to palettes as much as other people have said it's their go-to palette. So I'm really glad that I've grabbed it out. I've actually given it a red hot go and I'm really, really enjoying this palette. So last month it weighed in at 185.38 grams. Ooh, nearly dropped it and now it weighs in at 185.42 grams so what um okay 185.42 grams um so this one's actually growing <laughs> this one's actually growing this month i know one of you commented on one of my updates of this series uh, a couple of months ago, I think. And you said that when shadows are exposed to, like when you're using them daily and they're exposed to air and moisture and whatnot, they can tend to um, grow, which is kind of gross, but I kind of understand. Uh, so I imagine probably because I am using this more and maybe because it's more of a powdery, powdery, more of a powdery um, formula. Maybe that's why it's gone up uh, by a bit. <laughs> but nonetheless, there's definitely dips. There's definitely dips. So I'm going to hold on to the dips and not worry about the weight.
And the last one is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I bet you guys didn't guess that I would have a pan in this palette, but I do. I have a pan in this like matte setting color up here. Uh, it's a pretty decent, it's a pretty decent amount of pan, I think. I'm quite proud of the fact that I've hit pan on it. Uh, let's do a weigh on this one. Last month it was 209.7 grams and this month it weighs in at uh, 209.49 grams. Okay, so I've used a really decent amount of this one this month. Um, almost uh, like 0.2 point two of, of a gram so where I think that's a really good decent amount to use in a month I will say though I've I think I've kind of decided this past week that I'm going to roll this palette out because I'm I'm just not loving it. So I'm going to roll this one out for the time being. I'm just not vibing with it as much as I'm vibing with the Modern Renaissance palette. So I think I'm going to roll the Too Faced palette out and focus solely on the Modern Renaissance for the next month. And we'll see how we go. Maybe at the end of maybe at the end of August I might roll this one out and have like a refresh of my eyeshadow palettes again. Um, I'll see how I feel at the end of August but at the moment where I stand right now I'm just I'm just quite over the chocolate bar palette and the Too Faced shadows are pretty hard to pan um, as I'm discovering. So I'm going to roll this one out and I'm just going to focus on my Modern Renaissance palette. Hopefully I can hit pan on a couple of shades in this palette before I roll it out. I've got some decent progress on a few things, um, but also not so decent progress on other things, but that's the way the cookie crumbles with Pan That palettes. Um, let me know how you are going on any of the products that you are focusing on. Um, whether it's any of your like your face palettes or any particular eyeshadow palettes, whether you are starting to see dips and shades or whether you have hit pan on anything. I love to know how you guys are going with panning your eyeshadows down in the comments box. If you enjoy watching my pan that palette update every single month, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you do want to subscribe and keep up to date and get notified when my videos go live, um, you can hit the subscribe button down below. I upload videos twice a week and I also go live on YouTube every single Sunday. That's it for this video beauties. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. I hope that you are also staying safe and healthy and looking after yourself and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.